hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can validate the form input field inside angular using the view child decorator and the element ref decorator so basically i will be showing you how to focus how to get the value first of all and show it inside live preview using the data binding and uh, we will also be saying how to focus inside an input field whenever you load the page. So let's suppose I load the page here. As you will see basically this input field is automatically focused here. This name input field. So as I load the page here I can directly write here. You can see that. I no longer has to click inside this input field. As I load the page inside this angular application it is automatically focused inside the name input field. So I can directly type here and you can see inside the live preview I am seeing whatever I am writing here. Similarly for the email field here we can live preview it you will see that and similarly for the password you will see that. So whatever I am writing here this is called as double data binding and uh, we are also using the view child. Uh, decorator and also we are using element ref so we will be showing you how to do this how to focus inside your form input field and also how to get the value and show it uh, in live preview all the source code guys is given in the description of the video this is a full example code I have shown you and let me just start the application so the very first thing you need to do let me just delete all the source code so here you need to first of all go to your app.module.ts file guys so let me just delete this So here if you go to your app.module.ts file guys you need to import the forms module simply import this and add it inside your imports array that's all. I have given all the source code guys in the description of the video I have written a complete blog post on this topic so if you want the full source code you can go to the description of the video to get all the source code. So now we will be going to app.component.ts file guys so here we will be declaring three variables first for the storing the name and uh, we will also have the email and also we will have the password so we will you can see we have declared these three variables of type any here so now we just need to go to app.component.html and basically here guys we will have three input fields input type text and uh, uh, we will be talking about how view child decorator works so this is basically one input field here and uh, we can give it a placeholder that enter name so here the user will enter the name here and if you have seen guys inside selectors inside regular html we have given an id here so if it is a regular html file we can give an id here and then this is basically a unique id but in angular this id is replaced here with the selector so hash symbol and then basically you attach the id so i will attach the id as name you can call this as name ref that's all and similarly if you now refresh the application you will see one input field out there if you see that basically we have one input field out there and similarly we can have uh, another input field this time this will be of type email and similarly we can attach a reference to it which is email ref and placeholder here will be enter email like this and lastly we will have input type of password and here we can attach the reference as password reference and here we can say enter the password that's all so you will see that guys basically we have attached these three references which is name ref email ref and password ref so this is all coming because of the view child decorator and now if you see we have three input fields out there you will see that and uh, basically now if you want to target this uh, name ref you need to go to app.component.ts and right here we will basically write the code for this so view child decorator is very easy you just write add the rate symbol and then you write view child and the syntax is very easy first of all you just need to import this uh, so quick fix I will update the import so this will import it for, from the core library of angular you will see it is successfully imported and here you simply need to pass the reference guys so whatever you have initialized here which is name ref you can see that so here we will pass the name ref value here and here we will be declaring a new reference which is called as name ref of the type element ref so this also needs to be imported guys so element ref so just import this 
so you can see that element reference is also being imported here so you can see that you also need to put a definite sign here so put a definite sign so this will resolve the problem so we are doing it inside the latest version angular 14 so that's why this this symbol is required so you can see that this is the view property that we have uh, created we have given the reference inside the HTML name ref and we are targeting it inside the TypeScript code. We are putting this name reference here. So this needs to be same here. So whatever you have given the reference name here, this needs to be same. So we can basically repeat this for the email and the password as well. So we can simply repeat this. So here we can replace here email ref and this can be password ref. So we can just change the variable name as well, email ref and password ref, that's all. So now you can see that guys, uh, now if I want to focus in a value here, let's suppose I want to focus on the name input field. So if I load the page here, I just need to focus on this so that I can type directly here without having to wait. So I need to focus inside this name input field as I load the page. So for doing this guys, we just need to implement a life cycle method. So here we will implement and this life cycle method will be called as after view in it. So here we also need to import this. So we will simply import this also after view in it. So this basically initializes after all your document DOM elements are loaded. So he, here it is just saying define this. So we will simply define this method, this life cycle method, ng after view in it. So this will automatically define here. So this problem will be resolved here. So inside this guys, you will first of all target this uh, name ref. And this contains a property which is called as native element. And this contains a method which is focus. So this will basically focus the input field guys. If you just reload the page here. If I reload the application, you will see directly it is focused here. I, and I can type here. If I need to focus basically the... If I now write... At one time, I think you can uh, focus only a one field here. So if I try to focus two fields, this will not work. I think it should not work. Yeah. So the email field will work because this is a later statement. So at one time you can only focus one input field. So now if I reload, you will see the email input field will be focused. So same, you can do this for password as well. If you want to focus the password field, you can refresh. You can see that. So now I need to show guys whatever I am writing here. Uh, I need to sh uh, show a live preview of whatever we are writing here. So we can again change to name ref. So inside your app.component.html, we can simply inside the paragraph, we will say that the entered name is, and then we can inside interpolation, we can do interpolation here. And we can simply type name here. And for this to work guys, we just need to uh, assign a parameter, which is ng model. So we have this declared three variables, which is name, email, password. So that's why we can attach this. So this is called as double data binding. So email and then we have the password. The entered email is the entered password is so now if you ref refresh this application guys it is saying can't bind to ng mode since it is isn't a known property of input let me see guys ng model I think ng model okay, okay sorry this l is missing here let me just change it so now you can see that guys uh, basically if i write something here you will see that it will show you my live preview automatically it is focused inside the name input field 
if I now write this so in this way guys you can uh, work with forms and uh, using the view child decorator and element ref and uh, in this way basically we can uh, get the values which the user has written and also you can focus automatically on a certain input field when you load the page so thank you very much for watching this video I, all the source code is given in the description of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video